Instead, the President of the United States, uh, the former President of the United States, opened up with January 6th video, which is insane. He should be running from that period. I don't care his point of view. That is not a good thing for him. I thought that was absolutely awful. That was Brian Kilmeade calling Trump insane for supporting the January 6th rioters during his campaign rally in Waco, Texas over the weekend. There's a lot more from where that came from. Why don't we hear more from Kilmeade and then we'll get into some other Fox News hosts going after Trump. But Jake can't help himself, so go yeah. ahead, Jake. Before you do that, in that clip, did you notice Rachel Campo stuff? I think that's her with her eyes being like this. Okay, so let's watch to see what the other two reactions are in the next clip. This is such an opportunity for Republicans just to say, look at what we did, look at what he's doing, look at what we had, look at what he's doing. And I think for President Trump to spend 80% of his time complaining about court cases instead of just looking at his own record and what he would have done. And let me tell you what I would have done to SVG. Let me tell you what I would have done over in um, to Syria if they, if we our guys got hit uh, for the 74th time uh, and twice in two days. He does that or other candidates do that, they're gonna be unbelievably successful because that's gonna be the conversation at the kitchen table. Instead, the President of the United States, the former President of the United States opened up with January 6th video, which is insane. He should be running from that period, I don't care his point of view. That is not a good thing for him. No, this is one of those rare instances where Jenk interrupting me makes a lot of sense because I didn't notice that before. Because I'm looking at Kilmeade, he's the yeah. one speaking. But look at the discomfort. Uh, Rachel Campos Duffy and I don't know the name of the other guy are experiencing as Kilmeade is trying to very gently critique Donald Trump for opening his rally with the January 6th choir, by the way, to honor them, the rioters who broke into the Capitol and caused all this havoc. So <laughs> first there was the Campos Duffy's look of like, <laughs> towards him. But the other interesting thing was the constant looking to presumably producers. They're like, what do we do? What do we do? What do we Should do? we step in? This is—is is this legal? Is this allowed? He's saying things that are against Trump. That's good. That's what we do. Oh, we're doing that now. Okay, all right. Then I won't say anything. Okay. That <laughs> Which, guy's by name? the way, they are. Kilmeade's a good team player. The the memo at Fox is it's okay to hit Trump. We're supporting DeSantis. Now you got to balance it out so you don't lose the entire audience. So Kilmeade's actually towing the company line here. And notice Kilmeade never criticized Trump before Murdoch made the turn and said we're in favor of DeSantis instead of Trump. That's exactly right, and I have noticed that. By the way, by the way, Will Kane is the name of the other Fox and Friends host in that video. So Fox has seemed to turn on Trump to some extent, considering all the negative commentary he's been getting on the network. Another example is actually Stuart Varney, who didn't take kindly to a moment where Trump apparently threatened violence against the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Now he did this in the context of social media. He was on Truth Social and he posted an article that included imagery of Trump like wielding a bat around. Trump shared the image of himself holding a baseball bat with Bragg's hands up, so uh, the New York Post covered it and they uh, included the image of this on their front page. Um, on his Truth Social platform Thursday, as he devoted his day to attacking the prosecutor for pursuing a case over hush money payments to poor, uh, adult actress Stormy Daniels, uh, the bat image was pulled from an article that he shared but was not removed. Okay. So Stuart Varney, who was also a giant Trump supporter, was not happy about this. And honestly, I think what he's about to say provides a lot of um, common sense to the Republican Party if they're genuinely concerned about winning in the next election. But it doesn't matter. For diehard Trump supporters, they're not gonna hear any of that. So without further ado, let's go to the last video here. I don't think uh, America wants that kind of behavior in a presidential candidate. I think they're tired of it. I don't think they like to see him wielding a baseball bat prior to some possible con uh, uh, charges in court. I just don't think it goes down well with a majority of people. What do you say? Well yeah, no, I think you're exactly right about it. And I think that even in 2016, people would have rather not had to turn to somebody like Donald Trump. How do you think independence? in this country will yeah. react. I don't think he's trying to win independence right now. I think he's trying he to win the primary. He can't win the election without independence. Right, but you- He's got 30% of the Republican one of the great, party as his one of the base. Great, he may get them, but if he doesn't have the independence, right. he can't win.
So in at least two separate discussions, Stuart Varney brought up the bat photo and clearly was not happy about it. But he's actually making a good point and honestly a point that Republican leadership I'm sure is concerned about, which is why they're trying to prop up DeSantis. Donald Trump does well with the Republican base. Clearly, he does not do well when it comes to the rest of the electorate, namely the independent voters who get turned off by some of his antics. Yeah. That's what hurt Republicans during the midterm elections, right? All the Trump candidates, most of the Trump candidates didn't perform well once they made it to the general election. Yeah, so um, there are no good guys here, but let me break down the two different camps. Rachel Campos Duffy was the one that kind of halfway debated him for about three minutes in one of those instances that we just showed you. And she kept going back to, well, it's a two tier justice system and Donald Trump and his fans are just complaining about the two tier justice system. What? what, what? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's talk about the two tier justice system. If anyone else committed the kind of tax fraud that Donald Trump had committed, the kind of financial fraud that Donald Trump committed, they'd be in prison right now. 100%. What? I talked about this on Friday's show. It's that the right wing, especially the elites within the right wing, have never been held accountable their whole lives. They, there's almost no rule of law for them. So that's why when the idea of being held accountable is a new concept to them. For the left wing, we're always under the thumb of the law, mm-hmm. right? But for a lot of the powerful people in the right wing, they've never heard of it, right? Like the idea that a rich Republican can go to jail, that's just, it's, it's just such a foreign concept. That's why they're like shocked. They're like, "This? did you guys know that in the justice system, that if you break the law, you can go to jail? Yeah, the rest of us all already knew that. The ironic thing is there is a two tier justice system. You're just in the tier that never gets held accountable. And now you're shocked to find out that you might be held accountable. Anyway, so that's that camp that says we can break the law if we, if we want to, because we're right wingers. The Stuart Varney camp is, guys, you're gonna cost us the election. And how we're gonna get tax cuts for the rich if you cost us the election. He doesn't care about the bats or anything like that, and neither does Murdoch. They're just like, we need those independents. We need to trick those independents into voting for us. That's right, yeah. So we do more tax cuts for the rich. No, that's exactly right. Right. So it's not like he's a good guy, he's just pointing out elementary politics. I know, but that's right? the amazing thing that like pointing out elementary politics to the viewers is just taking this massive risk because of how they're gonna react to it. 100%, by the way, we have that on the left too. If you point out super elementary politics to extreme leftists, they're like, no, okay? So everybody's got their incredibly counterproductive litmus test. But anyway, the right wing has mastered the course in that. Unfortunately, it's the majority of the party, not a fringe little part of it. So now, uh, last thing is, um, Trump, he does an ode to the January 6th rioters in the beginning. Okay, look, I, kill me is outrageous if this is the first time he's ever heard of it. We're all super used to it. But my point isn't that, my point is, so if you're doing an ode to them, forget the ode, why don't you give them money? They're in prison now, they need legal help. <laughs> yep. You have hundreds of millions of dollars that you raised from people and in, including probably people in that crowd in Waco, Texas. So, so why don't you for, come out to the speech? And by the way, you get tons of truth. Say, you know what? I'm giving a hundred million dollars to their defense fund. I'm gonna cover their legal fees. Or I'm just gonna forget right. you, well, you probably don't need anywhere near a hundred million dollars. I'm gonna cover their legal fees. He's not giving them one dime, zero dollars. Nothing. That's what he's giving them. Because Trump is a fraud, he's the most obvious con man in the world. Right wing, I don't like your brand of populism. The economic stuff we can maybe one day off in the future unite on. Your culture war stuff is toxic. But if you're gonna pick a populist, couldn't you pick one that was a quarter honest, whose main thing isn't robbing you guys? I mean, he does the biggest robbery of you, not us. The problem is Trump is a showman. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So in a political environment that has increasingly become more about culture wars and cults of personality, someone like Donald Trump who can dunk on other Republicans as well as he does, is appealing to the voters, right? Because all of us, it's not just Republican voters. All of us at this point have been so conditioned to expect so little from our elected lawmakers and from our politicians. And so politics has just turned into a blood sport. It's turned into a massive, ridiculous reality show. 
And yeah. that is what I think a lot of voters judge candidates on to some extent. No, Anna, you're 100% right. You're forcing me to say one last point. Forcing. Uh, yeah, you're forcing, you made me do it. Uh, Trump got past the goalie. He got past the goalie because he was a celebrity and he was a clown. So the mainstream media thought, oh, celebrity, we always cover celebrities. Right. And oh, he's a clown, so it's harmless, right? So progressive populists can't get past the goalie because the goalie's the media. And it, it, oh, they're like, oh, progressives, they actually care about American citizens. No, block, 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 don't cover them, don't cover them, don't give them any press. Because if you give us press, we might attack and be really popular like Donald Trump is. The unspoken iceberg of support that Donald Trump has is because, partly because he attacks the establishment. They never talk about that. Yes, some of it is because of the racism, bigotry, sexism, etc., right? But a huge part of it is he just says F you to the establishment, which people love. He's the first to get past the goalie, yep. so he's collecting all the F the establishment vote. That should be progressives collecting that, but we cannot get past the mainstream media. If we're being honest, they're actually our biggest opponents. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.